All right. Is anybody here using containers? <laughs> By any chance, just checking if it's the right place. So this project, Slim Toolkit, is about making it easy to use and maintain containers. So who am I? I'm the Docker Slim guy. I created the project a few years back. The name changed. Uh, and I created it to make it easy to create minimal container e uh, images the easy way. And then I added a whole bunch of other capabilities, including debugging those images and a lot more. And that's what I'm going to talk about. So the first question is, why would you want to have minimal container images? And the answer is production-ready containers. If you ever read the container best practices, you know, they tell you don't put stuff you don't need in containers, right? But they don't tell you how to do it. Pretty funny. And the gotcha there is that you don't know what you need and what you don't need. Nobody, at least nobody I talk to, ever puts junk in their containers. Nobody. So how can you create minimal container images? You can do it manually. You can build one from scratch, from the scratch image. And it works pretty nice with, uh, with compiled languages. And with, um, uh, with other languages, it's a little uh, more complicated. But even with the compiled languages, where you think you have a static binary, you end up like Go, for example. You end up with extra dependencies pretty quickly extra assets, certificates, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, one of the options is this tool, Slim Toolkit. Now here, a high level, is a high level overview of what happens. We take the image you have, we create an ephemeral instance, we inject a sensor, we generate synthetic application interactions, and then we capture lots of telemetry about the container and the application. Then we take that telemetry and re we rebuild the application and the container using the components that you need. And then we also generate security profiles. And that's how it happens. That's how we discover what your application needs, what needs to be in the container, and it's done in an automated way. Great. So here's an example of what it looks like going through the uh, slimming process. Um, when you run the command uh, uh, tool, you get to pick two options, either interactive CLI mode, like it is here, or the traditional uh, mode. But there, you don't get the nice flag completion that you have here. Great. So you have those minimal container images, but they have no shell. How do you debug them? That's a good question. You can use kubectl exec. You can use uh, uh, docker exec. And you also don't have your debugging tools. And this is where you can use the debug command. This tool is the only tool, open source or commercial, that can debug containers in Docker, Podman, Containerd, and Kubernetes. The only tool, including commercial tools, by the way. And not only that, you also, if you look at the file systems from those two examples, the first example at the top is what you get. You see the Nginx container file system. But if you use kubectl debug, you see the file system of the debugging image, which kind of sucks and, and it's confusing. You also get a nice uh, pre-selected list of debugging images. Now, the interactive mode CLI is nice, but it can be better. And this is exactly what we're going to do in the Contribute Fest session on Friday. We're going to be adding a terminal CLI, uh, uh, a terminal UI uh, to the project for the X-ray command when you can explore what's inside of your container. And we also have a stand uh, in the pavilion on Wednesday and Thursday. Thank you.